Today is June 6, 2014. Hello, brothers. This is the Ultra Star Triple Three. Back once again. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about New World Order. Um, when most people think about New World Order, or say New World Order, they think about the Illuminati, okay, or white folks, alright? As I explained in one of my videos, I'm going to just get straight to the point. Um, the Illuminati is fake, okay? These fake pirates, they are not associated with the original people on this planet. Those from the heavens who came here, the Anunnaki, okay? Um, those who care the bloodline of the Anunnaki, or some people say Anunnaki, all right? Um, I'm going to talk about a real New World Order, okay? From somebody that actually carry the bloodline of the Anunnaki, all right? And we'll see if it made more sense to you. Because this shit here, what they talk about with the New World Order, um, is unrealistic. I'm going to give you a scenario that's realistic, okay, with the new world order. First of all, no white person should be talking about no fucking new world order, okay? They got power, they done fucked up the world. Basically, then it's just fucked it up. You know, you put power in somebody, put a lot of money in somebody's hand, and they fuck up the money, okay? The white folks, they done fucked up the world. This ain't got nothing to do with racism. This has got to do with truth, all right? Just simple, raw motherfucking truth that nobody really want to talk about or scared to talk about, don't have the balls to talk about. But you know, if you've seen some of my videos, I talk about shit that people don't really talk about. I don't hold my goddamn tongue about nothing. If, if it's the truth, I'm going to say it. All right? Let me explain something to you brothers and to some of you white folks that's watching this video. The world is only really ran by a few people, okay? A couple hundred. And these people are scared of each other, okay? That's why the world's fucked up. Nobody, I, I explained in one of my videos, white folks, powerful white folks, scared to stand up to other powerful white folks, okay? And therefore, the man on the bottom the common folks suffer from it, okay? Let me explain, let me give you an example. How wasteful uh, this planet has become. I when you say planet, how wasteful white folks be have become. We've been using fucking oil, uh, uh, petrol, fossil fuels, for a long time, longer than what we should have been using. Instead of the one group of powerful white folks standing to the other group, standing up to the other powerful group of white folks and say, hey, we're gonna go with hydrogen. We didn't we didn't we didn't line your pockets enough with oil, with with, with uh, oil money. We're gonna move to something safer and cleaner. There's been many attempts, but likely those people were paid to keep their mouth shut or just died of an accident, supposedly an accident. That's not what a, real, a, a, a new world order would consist of, okay? A real new world order means knocking motherfuckers off the planet, powerful motherfuckers, okay? Even if you know that you're at risk, you just 
tell the boss and go ahead and fucking do it. It don't matter how powerful, don't matter how many ties they have, fuck them all. Plain and simple. And that's nobody really stood up and say fuck them all. The only one person who was really Hitler, okay, that tried that shit. And it just wasn't really him. He was a damn puppet. But the real puppeteers, some of them still alive to this day. Some of them are part of that elite. Okay? Never been brought up on charges. Nothing. Case closed. Hitler was a scapegoat. Okay? A real New World Order. Will consist of a black man taking back the planet which belongs to him in the first place. I know a lot of you white folks, it, it, you don't get it. The planet belongs to the Negro. This 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 ain't someone just pulling out my ass now. You go back and read the text. I ain't talking about the Bible. I'm talking about the Severian text. We were here first. Okay? We were here first. A lot of us that, that know the truth know we came from that raw bloodline from the Anunnaki. Okay? Took their own DNA and created us. They didn't create y'all asses. Push y'all came from us. Okay? Genetically, but technically, y'all was not born from us, like another black person. If you're familiar with David Icke, when we talk about the, the reptilian bloodlines and this and that, and all this shit here, the reptilians did with y'all the same thing the Anunnaki did with us, except for these splicing genes, okay? They took our genetic material, re-engineered it, and create a child right there in the Caucasus mountains, okay, in a fucking lab, all right? That's why you don't have, you don't know your history before then. You did not exist 10,000 years ago. After 10,000 years, you existed. We have been here for hundreds of thousands of years, all right? We've been here. Even some of the goddamn reptilians that David Icke talks about have been here longer than us. Okay? I already talked about it, but just a simple rundown. Prince Alalu, or King Alalu from Nibiru, was the first one that came here. He fled because he had a hit out on him. In the midst of blasting through the asteroid belts, because of course you have to blast through that shit to get to get into this solar system. Or either you go way out of the way, you can go up or go down instead of just blasting straight through. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So it makes sense for him to blast through the asteroid belt. In the midst of him blasting through the fucking asteroid belt with some nukes, lo and behold, asteroids tumble the earth. The dinosaurs died, okay? Not to mention maybe even a nuke hit the earth also from his ship. That's why the moon got all the craters and shit on it, you know, from, that's where that came from. And if you read the Sumerian text or the Lost Book of Inky, you know that Alalu's ship was so fucking heavy he had to put it on water, okay? Same thing when Inky and the Anunnaki came here, they had to put the ships on water because they were that heavy. It seems unbelievable, right? But it's another fact that there's a star in the Orion star system, a, 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 if I'm not mistaken, Sirius B, the material on that planet, uh, or oh, that star is very heavy, okay? What would be like a baseball size piece of metal, you wouldn't be able to lift it with your hand. No, it, it wouldn't be humanly possible to lift with your hand, okay? 
That's how heavy and how heavy the material is. We're talking about metals unknown to man. And to withstand the um, the 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 uh, the vacuum in space and um, rips in the ship, you have all kinds of junk in space, okay? Just like this junk on the road. If a small, small rock hit the ship at a high speed, the material will have to be strong enough to break the fucking rock, okay? And not actually put a rip in the hole of the ship. Making sense to you now? But anyway, moving on. Alulu was the first one here, all right? The Anunnaki were black. They wasn't black. And you did simple math. We will probably be a different color because they, own, they took their own fucking genetic material and made us. Okay? Black people were, are the first people here on the planet. We go back to Lucy in Africa. Okay? The old, one of the oldest bodies found. Then they came out with another one in Mexico. All right? What, Mexicans been there all that time? No, it was black people. Black people, black folks. And of course, the scholars is paid by the government. They're not going to tell, tell the truth. The black man has to dig for his truth, for his, his identity, his true identity. Nobody's going to tell it. Even though there are other countries around the world that know our history better than us. They know who, who we are. Possibly one of the reasons why they would die, uh, it was, it's an honor for them to die in combat by new white folks. When you come up in the country and try to occupy. Don't you think they probably look at us, black folks here in America, and say, no, we don't want to end up like them. We don't want to lose our sovereignty. We don't want to end up being homosexuals. We don't want to end up being strung out on drugs. We don't want to end up in government housing projects. They look at us. They know we are in a bad position. And they know how you white folks are. Who else know who your white folks are? Extraterrestrial? You got damn right. Possibly one of the reasons why they have no interest in fucking with you white folks. Now, black folks, we've been on here, been on this planet for hundreds of thousands of years. People around the fucking galaxy know who the fuck we are. They know who we are. Oh, we're going to pass by Earth, and we're going to visit those black folks. They're so humble. They cook us food. They sing to us. They treat us like family. Okay? This was what the fuck was going on before you white folks existed. Okay? This is what went on. You use SETI, and I'm going to rant a little bit. Fuck it. You use SETI to try to contact some extraterrestrials and they ignoring the shit out of y'all. They, uh, uh, you can't blame them. The people on the fucking planet don't like y'all asses, period. And you don't get it. You like, your motherfuckers are retarded. You make enemies all over the goddamn planet. The black man don't have no fucking enemies because he ain't going around trying to tell people what the fuck to do on the planet. Okay? Live in peace. You white folks don't know that. You feel that you have to rule shit. You have to be in control. And don't get me wrong, it's hard-coded in your genetics. When the reptilians, the same motherfuckers that uh, David and I talk about, created y'all, they knew what they were doing, okay? Genetic engineering never stopped on this planet. It's 
started with the Anunnaki, but it never stopped. And don't give you that bullshit about the Anunnaki or reptilian. They not. They're not reptilian. If you read the motherfucking text, when Alalu, or I say Alalu, came to this planet, he never seen a goddamn snake on him. When he went to go drink, get a drink of water, he blew a snake's head off, okay? And he was scared because he never seen nothing like that. If he was a part of the fucking reptilian family, he would know what a goddamn snake is. But that's you white folks with that fucking propaganda over the island. And a knock if you be anything but black. That's the way out there. You don't want to accept that the Anunnaki are black, okay? No, you don't want to say, you don't accept that the Egyptians were black. Khufu, Inhotep, that's not no fucking white names. That's not. Alexander is a fucking white name. Caesar is a white name. That's y'all. Kufu, Anunnaki, Imhotep. That's us. That's us. That's black folks. That's our history. In every fucking continent on this planet, there's a fucking black body in the ground that's been there before you white folks. We're going to talk about world domination. Can't even conquer fucking diseases that's killing all people. World domination. Really? My folks ain't got no room to talk about no fucking world domination. They don't. It's for the black man. And the black man only. He is the sole motherfucking heir of the Iron Unaki. He carries the bloodline. He carries that, that essence, that spirit, that soul. You can't create a fucking soul by just splicing genetics. No. And a lot of you white folks don't have no fucking soul. You, David Icke want to talk about these reptilians, but I don't see much of a fucking difference between a lot of you white folks and these goddamn reptilians that's calling the shots on this planet. You human, but you have a, don't even understand right from wrong with the basic shit. I'm just talking stuff. Trayvon Martin. Let's leave race out of it. If Trayvon Martin had a gun, like Mark Zimmer. Hey. You made the best man win. But when one man have a gun and the other man is trying to get away from that man with the gun, the man with the gun deserves to go to jail. That's not hard to figure out. That's not hard to fucking figure out. Not at all. Simple, right from wrong. Black folks, we know right from wrong. But a lot of us chose to do wrong. One thing to know right from wrong is you do wrong. It's another to not know in the first fucking place. And think that you're right all the time. Think that every... Body else should bow down at your feet. Because the rest of your family controls the banking systems and the resources. You white folks are more brainwashed than anybody else on the planet. More of a danger to anybody else on the planet. Is the black man a danger to the Chinese man? No, he's not. Is the black man a danger to the Russians? No, he's not. 
the black man a danger to the Palestinians? No, he's not. Really? I mean, fucking really? New World Order. A true, let me tell you what the fucking true New World Order would be. Through the eyes of a black man. First and foremost, a lot of you white folks will have to fucking go. You not only a threat to this life on this planet. I ain't talking about just human life. I'm talking about life in general. Pollution. You're a threat to extraterrestrials elsewhere is also. Oh yeah. If I'm not mistaken, at a nuclear test site, a fucking UFO appearing out of nowhere, went up the side against this fucking test missile, this nuclear test missile, and dismantled it in air, wrote right on it, wrote in parallel with the fucking missile and zapped it just like that. You reached your prime. Every kingdom on this planet has ri risen and fallen. Even the Anunnaki. You white folks are not exempt from that shit. You're not. But that's that brainwashing. The shit that's hard coded in your genetics that make you think you're better than everybody else on the planet. Make you think you're smarter than everybody else on the planet. The arrogance. What kind of arrogance am I talking about? That fucking Donald Sterling type arrogance. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. The prime, the, the uh, a perfect example with that shit. I don't fault him. He just said what the fuck he was on his mind. A lot of you black folks should not be surprised by that. Okay? Because a man, and he, he's not the only owner of a, a, a basketball team in the NBA that has that same mentality. First of all, you have to have that fucking mentality to even make it to that level. Okay? If you white. If you want. A lot of black folks, we go out of our way to try to fucking apologize or make things right when we ain't done shit wrong. The past up in LA invited Donald Sterling. To his church. And I'm gonna explain all of that in, the, in, in when I talk about this new world order because I haven't scratched the surface here with that. But let me let me get on to it. A new world order would be to cut the white population in half, the European. See, you tell me it's not a war against blacks, people of different colors, et ethnicities. But it ain't nothing for the French, the Germans, and the British to band together and go into another fucking country and kill up people. Not white people. People that stop skin. People that have a little bit more melanin in their skin than you white folks. People that don't get burned up by the fucking sun. Catch skin cancer from being in the sun. 
that alone should tell you that something's not right about you. Okay? You stick out like a sore ass on this planet by your behavior, by your deeds, by your skin tone. Now here we have plants, uh, plants on the surface of the fucking earth. Anything on the surface that's living on the surface of, of this earth should be able to withstand the sun. Your white folks can't, not without no sunblock. That should tell you, you have not a disease, as most black folks would say, in the conscious community. This has to do with fucking genetics. That flat ass that you got, that has to do with genetics. That pointy nose. But of course, when the reptilians designed y'all asses, they weren't looking for, they, they didn't care about those superficial things. Because that back it, in, in that time, it didn't really matter. But of course, in this pop culture society and shit, it's super, you know, it's, it's, it's a fad. A lot of you white folks to go get lip implants, uh, buttocks implants and shit like that. To try to round out certain areas of your body that you don't like. You go to the tanning shop. Tanning salon. Like I said, I'm just going to keep it real and tell the motherfucking truth. And we'll give it to you raw. You have been genetically engineered by the reptilians. You use as a fucking proxy. You are not like everybody else on this planet. You're not. And it don't take me to say that. All you have to do is look around the world. And you'll see that for yourself. Now, if you don't want to acknowledge for what it really is, that's fine. But I'm going to tell the truth when I get on this motherfucking camera. Okay? Black man's new world order will consist of wiping out a lot of you white folks. That caused a lot of fucking pain on earth. Yes. But see, even with the white folks, with Henry Kissinger and them motherfuckers, they talk about wiping y'all asses out also because they know. The same shit I'm talking about, they talk about behind closed doors. But they don't use no cover. Okay? They don't care about that. Henry Kissinger is not a motherfucking human being himself. He's not. I don't believe him, him to be. He has lived a long time. He was old in black and white photos. And his ass still alive? He's still alive? Which means that if nobody have any re real documentation when he was born, Kissinger had been around for a long fucking time. Before all of us, before this generation. Because a long lifespan. And this all just, I'm, I'm going to get right down to it. This shit can get complicated. I'm trying to narrow it down, so just bear with me. I do not care how long lifespans, okay? Long, long lifespans. The descendants of the Anunnaki have long lifespans. For each generation, it gets shorter and shorter. Depending on if that generation uh, is conscious enough to do whatever it takes to slow down that aging process. Age has more to do with genetics. It don't have shit to do with the sound. Okay? It's how you take care of your body. And, and, and uh, how you eat.
the average human being have 20, to, uh, have 23 chromosomes, okay? Uh, uh, two paths, 46. We're talking about the positive blood type. Talk about the negative, it's a little different, okay? But y'all carry the negative. A negative, RH negative blood type person, a black man, he's not going to age like talking about. He may be in his 30s before he grow hair on his face, be, be able to grow a beard or a mustache. That's why a lot of statues in Africa that states, some of them that still stand to this day, the men do not have hair on their face. If they do, they may have a goatee. But the mustache and the beard comes later on in life, depending on their lifespan. Inky, the Anunnaki, and Leo, his brother and Leo, they did not start growing beards until they were much older. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of years older. They were here thousands of years already before they grew up here. And the Sumerian text talks about that. That when Anu or Anu came to visit, they noticed that Inki and Lil and the Hursan aged. Even aged more than they. Mama and Papa. Anu already had a beard because he was already up in age. Inky and Lil, when they left home, they didn't have one. You grow a beard when you get much older. But of course, the positive blood types are designed to age. You knew, know about the Sumerian text. The whole aging process, the, the fast aging process was to age a human being to mine the gold quick enough to raise children fast enough so they can become adults to work or old enough to work in the mines to mine for gold and to help out. They didn't have that kind of time for a child wait hundreds or thousands of years for a child to mature into a adolescence or an adult. Okay? I don't really want to get deep, deep off into it. But I'm going to just say this. A lot of human beings with the RH negative don't age like positives. Age of some percent of the people on the planet is positive blood type, RH positive. The negatives don't age like that if they take care of themselves. Okay? And this was done on purpose. As I said, it's a restriction of the vitamin C. Every other, most plants and every other type of organism generate their own vitamin C, ascorbic acid. Humans don't. We don't. We don't. We, when we eat our food, a lot of Vitamin C, uh, a, a lot of other vitamins and minerals we, we get in our body processing them. But it don't generate vitamin C. Vitamin C is something external. Vitamin C is the compound, that one of the compounds that keep you from aging. It's a regenerator, a cell regenerator, okay? If you were to live a long time, your body will have to process lots of vitamin C. Okay? Of course, you have to get it external. And most people don't think about ingesting several thousand milligrams of vitamin C per day. And the cor ascorbic acid is real strong. Okay? Very strong, very bitter to the taste much better than a lime. 
Well, most people like to drink and eat bullshit and stuff like that. You slow down your aging with ascorbic acid. That's what I'm trying to say. Ascorbic acid. You slow down your fucking aging. Take 20,000, 50,000 milligrams a day. If you discipline enough, you slow down your aging. Very slow. New World Order. Back to that. The black man will have to help his people out. It will take the black conscious community. The people that are all conscious somewhat to what the fuck is going on in the world. To know that black folks are in a very bad position. Right now. Right here in America. Even the ones that's in Africa. South America. Okay? See, with the white folks. He will have to defend himself against the white people on this planet. And a lot of you white folks finally, you know, say that I'm being racist or what happened. How many of you white folks know that it was white people that went and killed every last motherfucking Tasmanian on that uh, island? Didn't spare none. These were black folks, okay? That wasn't fucking with nobody. That bitch of a queen in England sent criminals pedophiles, some of the worst kind of white folks, financed it, sent them there to kill up the natives that were there because they wanted the land. Just kill them. Not, think, not giving a fuck about anything else. So when you kill a group of people like that, see, it's not really talked about in the, in the textbooks. They talk about the white man killing off the last dodo birds, killing off the, the Tasmanian tigers, okay? Don't really talk about him killing up the natives that were there already and have been there for a long time. Some of the most primitive people, black people, This is why a lot of you white folks will have to go. Nobody will brought up on charges, okay? None of that. You motherfuckers out of control. You out of control, you need to go. You just haven't crossed that boundary yet to take that giant leap in outer space and make enemies and create war. Not yet. You don't. You, y'all don't have the finances to do that yet, or the resources, but it's in the making. Because you're running out of resources here. You can conquer damn near every nation on the planet, whether if it's by military or through economics or what have you. You rendered every fucking nation useless, or the ones that can't stand up to your ass. You're friends with. you tolerate. Six-party talks. Or should I say five-party talks or whatever. China, South Korea, uh, Japan, the U.S., Russia. Ain't a fucking black man. The black man been here. He carries the blood of the fucking Anunnaki. The rest of the nations ain't shit without the black man. He is the motherfucker that carried the genetics. He is the descendants of the Anunnaki. The months that you go by, the time that you tell. All by the Anunnaki. Not no fucking Ben Franklin bitch. 
This is the shit that your white forefathers went snatched up when they went invaded countries. Sent missionaries, Christian missionaries. Oh, you need to get rid of that stuff. That's plaguing you. That's, that stuff is cursed. This is why your land is dried up. Your, your crops are doing bad. We're going to take this and bless it and keep it in the vault to help you prosper. The text, the remnants, all of that. A lot of that shit is resting up in, in, in a vault up in England somewhere. The queen, whatever that bitch wanted, she got it. And she damn near got it all. We talking about extraterrestrial type shit. Agreements that we made with extraterrestrials. See, when a white man came and saw us dancing around a fucking fire, okay? Black folks. At night, dancing around, dancing in a circle in the, around a fire. He thought it was some fucking idiot. Look at these mambo jumbo motherfuckers dancing and clowning around, around the fire. But that bitch didn't know is that we knew the fucking planets. We knew how the planets orbited around the goddamn sun. And that's how we used to emulate it and singing and dancing and shit. It was a ritual. But he didn't understand that shit. What caught his attention is when the Dugan tried, told him flat out, we from outer space. Our forefathers came from outer space. No, we gonna give you the exact location, Sirius B, which could, could not even be seen on a fucking telescope when they told him. get what I'm saying now? Maybe you don't. Point blank. A lot of white folks will have to fucking go. And blacks around the world will have to unite. Especially the ones right here in the United States. None of this shit about I love the white man. Let's just all get along. You can't make peace with a, with a madman, okay? You want me to give you an example of a madman? That fucking judge up in Florida that assaulted an attorney. Because the attorney wanted his client to exercise his right to a speedy trial. The judge got pissed and said, I'll whoop your ass. This gangster type shit, okay? I'll whoop your ass. Come along in the back. And that's exactly what happened. He assaulted the attorney. Of course the attorney was white. The judge was white, of course. I live down south. That's not a surprise to me. That's not. I've been arrested for, of course, I had a motherfucking shootout. Ain't had, ain't say shit. The cop saw the motherfucking shells on the ground. I ain't fucking run, fuck it. Motherfucker bust at me, I bust back. He didn't know what to fucking charge me with. So he started looking through his book. Cause I ain't say shit. Nobody else said shit either. But anyway, make a long story short. I got off. No, no, no witnesses, no nothing. The motherfuckers ain't wanna talk. I had roughly about 500 rounds. 
that I didn't fire. Okay? That I didn't fire in a uh, ammo can. 762 by 39. When I got off, I drew up the uh, the paper to get my shit back because the gun was held in evidence. But I remember the cop, when I was in the back seat of that car, the cop was talking to the other cop like I wasn't even there. Just being out in the open. Saying, yeah, we got this nigga off the street. This nigga is not talking. He talking, he talking to another white person now, okay? So he started to try to use that psychology shit on me. Like he's trying to be my friend. Okay? Oh yeah, what kind of uh, rifle is that? Oh yeah, I, I have me a meal rifle like that, et cetera, et cetera, and all that. You must have spent the fortune on ammo. I still wasn't saying shit. When I got my shit out of evidence, I don't even have to tell you. I went through a lot of shit to get it back. But I don't even have to tell you. There was probably roughly about 20 rounds of 762x39 up in that ammo can. I counted every, like I say, in the ammo can 500, I did not fire any. Because there was many of them, in the, I had roughly about 10 magazines already. I had emptied out several of them already. But I still had about two magazines that I didn't empty, okay? Bottom line is this. This motherfucker stole the ammo, okay? Out of evidence. Criminal! He stole it. I know he stole it. I went to go and complain to his goddamn boss, the colonel. The colonel knew he stole it. The colonel asked me what, what, what was the name of the judge. Okay. I told him the name of the judge. He said, well, I'm going to have to talk to this judge. I, I know this judge. I don't see how you got your gun back. You don't deserve to have your gun back. Now, this this is white power, okay? The, the judge was black. But of course, he felt that I should not have my fucking gun back. He's going to go talk to the judge after she made a ruling. Talk to her like she's a like a like she's a child. He's not a fucking judge. He's a colonel. He's a, he's a sheriff. I went through the whole fucking process, the due process, went to court several times. Did all the paperwork myself. Represented myself. Say no, this ain't right. That's what he said. I'm supposed to believe in a motherfucking justice system. Really? Really, white folks? Really? That's why a lot of you motherfuckers need to go. You don't even acknowledge the whole fucking rules that you set. You don't. I learned that shit the hard way. The hard way. A lot of black folks that's caught up in the system, we know that shit. We know how it fucking goes. Don't matter what the goddamn papers say. What matters is who sits on the bench, who the prosecutor is, how well connected they are, See, it's the good old boy system. The good old buddy system. Okay? Like down south when black folks were allowed to
to go into certain restaurants legally. When the white folks didn't want them in there, they said, okay, well, look, this is a club. You're going to have to sign up for a membership, and there's no guarantee that you'll be able to become a member of this club. Or what happened? That's those tactics that they use. That punk bullshit. That's what it is. It's fucking punk bullshit. That's why nobody likes you motherfuckers on the planet. Nobody loves you on the planet. You got more black folks here that love you than anybody else on the planet. You are not the motherfucking savior. You bring chaos. You bring crime. You bring homosexuality to wherever the fuck you go. Just the mere sight of a white person, I know there's motherfucking trouble. If that bitch come knocking on my door or what have you, I know that it's a sign of trouble. It's not a sign of, 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 of things being good. Okay? Regardless, I'd be surprised. Either the motherfucker selling something, or you inquiring about something that's not to your best interest. You have a spirit, an aura about a lot of you white folks that's very negative. Very. You bring nothing positive. You may do some shit to make you feel good, but how much pain is it bringing to somebody else? How much is it costing somebody else? It's black folks that carry you motherfuckers to where you are right now. The White House was built by black folks. The Anunnaki were black. Bitch, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the Anunnaki. You wouldn't. You don't show no motherfucking respect before, for the elders that were here before your ass. You don't. You do not. Tutankhamen. That's a white person? That's a white goddamn name? But you went and stole. You white motherfuckers went and stole. Oh yeah, you went and stole. You steal, that's what you do. You're a goddamn leech. But don't feel, you're not the only one because the reptilians do that shit also. You're just doing what your fathers programmed you to do. That's hard code. And that's why the black man, which is a, a Christ-like figure, is the savior. He is not no motherfucking white man. No white man can save this fucking planet. None. None or silver. It would take a black man. Wasn't Christ in the Bible black? Hair like wool? Feet like uh, burned brass? Burned copper? The Christ figure. There's nothing righteous about you white folks. You learn righteousness. It's not in your spirit. It's not in your blood. Inky was righteous. You don't care that. You don't. You're a fucking predator. You are a leecher. But you can be fixed. Or either you can just die. Yep, you can be fixed or you can die. I don't say that. I'm not the only one that say that. Like I say, you talk about the fucking elite. Talk about that, that, that tablet that's in Georgia about uh, cutting the population down to a certain amount. You white folks fuck up everything. You fuck up the planet. You wasteful. But you know what? There's a solution. A real fucking solution. A solution by the black man. The Negro. The Negro that you fucking despised for hundreds of years that bought you bastards out of the fucking caves. Taught you how to cook. 
taught you how to clean, taught you not to be cannibal. Oh, you learn how to cook some motherfucking food when you got here? You bitches ain't even know the goddamn land when you got here. It was the natives that showed you how to do certain things. That showed you the land. That showed you what, what to plant. What season? And you act like you do black folks a favor. Oh, blacks you know, were in Africa uh, with flies and, 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 and living like savages. We're no fucking savages. We were savages. We would have been eating you motherfuckers when you got here. Look at that white meat right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut that bitch up and eat it. We wasn't doing that. That's what savages are. But that's that propaganda you motherfuckers use when you've been the savages. Napoleon. Them motherfuckers. Rockefellers. Rothschilds. Savages. Savages that need to fucking go. You need to go. You are not a part of no motherfucking bloodline of the originals. Bitch, you are not a part of the Anunnaki. You're not. Anunnaki wasn't doing that kind of shit back then. Fucking up the whole planet. Wasteful. Cats. Those female cats. A lot of you white folks are going to go there. A lot of black folks are going to go there too. But more of you white folks, I'm going to tell you why. And I'm talking about the white man's, your father's new world order. We don't like you motherfuckers having guns. Personally, I don't give a shit if you have a gun or not. Because me being a humanitarian, Somewhat, I believe every person has the right to defend themselves as long as it's on an even playing field. I don't want you to not defend yourself. Every fucking creature on the planet should have some kind of defense. But you know, the reptilians don't like that. No, they don't. You've gotten out of hand. You gotten too cocky. Population is out of control. They wanna send a lot of you motherfuckers to those camps with the, with the ones that you got guns and all of that shit. Yeah. Either way you fucked. If a black man came to power to rule the world, you fucked anyway. Some of you. White man come to power and rule the world. Just one. You're going to be fucked even more. Because in those FEMA accounts, they ain't going to give a shit about black and white being in the same cell. Okay? And best believe, you're going to get your ass whooped. Or, you, or, 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 or worse, you're going to get raped. You're going to get ass fucked if you go, if they put black and whites together. You ain't got no gun, you ain't got no knife. The Negro is gonna dominate your white ass up there. He is. You get a nigga like Flea Johnson, he's gonna run up in your asshole. He's gonna bust out your ass muscle. Okay? And I'm just keeping it real. Your ass retention muscle is gonna be blown the fuck out. You gonna wish you was dead. There won't be no way of you committing suicide. There wouldn't be no string, no nothing. They have all this shit already set up. So we're talking about something that's backed by reptilians. They don't like human beings in the first goddamn place, so they're not going to give a shit about black and white being in the same fucking cell. No! You're going to be in a cell with some black folks. It could be most majority of white folks. You get two niggas up in there, you're going to have some problems. You're really going to have some problems. 
That's why they keep, in today's society, they keep the gays with the gays in certain prisons. They keep the whites with the whites, they keep the blacks with the blacks, etc., etc. You mix them all up together, who the fuck you think going to dominate? It's going to be Negroes, it's going to be Hispanics. They don't want to be there in the first place, but the thing about it, that mentality, see, we have a prison-like mentality already. There's a lot of some of us black folks, a lot of us Negroes, that's been in the system. We psychologically fit for it already. Because we know what it is to fucking not go home on a moment's notice. If a nigga got a warrant out on him, he gets stopped in traffic. He, it ain't no time for, okay, let me call my wife or my girlfriend or something like that, or kiss my kids goodbye. That nigga is going to jail. Okay? And be lucky to be able to dial out to his fucking attorney. We know that shit already, and we know what that feel like. The girlfriend know what it is to not have a boyfriend or her husband to not come home because he locked up in jail. The fuck you white folks know about that? A lot of you. Yeah, yo, income fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollars. You ain't used to no shit like that. So you gonna have a fucking mental breakdown when they come house to house and haul your ass off along with your family. And no, they ain't gonna put you and your family in the same goddamn cell. No, they gonna split you up. Look at black folks, we been through that shit already. You gonna go through it and see whether if it's a black man that comes to power or those same motherfuckers that's in power, they gonna split your ass up. They gonna, they are gonna send you to jail. And the Negroes that's in those female camps, that was put in there by white folks, they ain't gonna wanna see your white ass up in that cell with them. So all that tension, all of that rage is gonna come out in that motherfucking cell. Like I say, you'd be lucky to get ass fucked up in there. Whether you a male or a female, you would be lucky to get only ass fucked up in there. And that's the bottom line. You get sold, you get your ass ran, get a train ran on your ass. Ten niggas in line waiting to get up in your asshole. And one in the front, you sucking some dick or something like that. That's the, that's the bottom line. That's the reality of it. If you don't believe me, look at the fucking prison systems right now. Any nigga that's been in the prison system know there's much black ass up in there to get. More than white ass. So when your pink ass go up in them female camps, and there's some niggas up in there that's them been to jail. Like I say, niggas like a uh, uh, Fleece Johnson, Waiting to get up in your asshole. Just to get his mind off of what's going on. He gonna be busting your asshole open. Like I said, I'm just keep the shit real, okay? I'm just fucking keeping it real. Cause it will come without warning when you get taken in the middle of the fucking night. So your cell phone won't work either. Because they gonna have jam. Signal channels, similar to what they do right now, when the uh, fucking federal marshals come and get somebody, oh, you ain't dialing out on that cell phone, it's gonna show no service. Because they're gonna have a fucking truck outside that's gonna be jamming the signal for miles away. So you might as well hang that up. That's why you should be prepared. And I'm talking about your mind and your spirit. Because the day of reckoning is going to come. 
black men has always ruled this fucking planet. Okay? It's not until a few thousand years ago he lost control. He lost it. In a war. A war that's still going on today. That some of you white folks don't know nothing about. Let me give you an example. Trayvon Martin was killed in Seminole County, all right? Seminole County. The Seminole War, read up on the Seminole War, that was a war between black folks and white folks right there in the state of Florida. The war never stopped. And best believe the white folks that's in Seminole County, they know the origins of it. They know it. Okay, there was the state of Florida that used little black babies to catch alligators with. No, they're not wasting, in their mind, they're not wasting no good chicken meat, no good pork. They could take these little black babies, which they got off on, the sick, twisted motherfucker. And throw the babies in the swamp. But first they'll cut the baby first for the baby to bleed. The gator that trapped in that, that blood scent and the movement in the water. Like a shark. The gator come out, out the hole from under the water and crush that black baby. In the midst of it, the white man that's a white man that's in that boat would take a, the, the pickaxe. They weren't wasting no fucking bullets. Not like they do on that goddamn TV show when they hunt gators. They did it with a pickaxe. Right straight to the head of that gator. And that's when they got the gator for meat and gator skin. It's true. Like I said, I live in the South. So the worst kind of white people I've encountered, okay? I done seen some nasty white motherfuckers, okay? Cold hearted. Brutal. So I learned how to adapt to some of these motherfuckers down here in the south, these rednecks. But the bottom line. You don't want to go to those FEMA camps, that's why you get your, get your mind right. And it probably wouldn't be a, black, a bad thing for a black man to rule the fucking world. New world order. What would the new world order consist of the black man? First it would be to get his people off for of drugs. How would he do that? By overruling you white motherfuckers that bad. Imogain, I-M-O-G-A-I-N-E. That's the substance that come from a plant in Africa, okay? That cures addictions with drugs of all kinds. See, Imogain was to counter the cocaine in Colombia. Cocaine's been around for a while. There's cocaine and a lot of mummies, okay? Look up cocaine mummies. Need you. Cocaine was used to enslave people. In the Bible, the uh, the, the 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 Israelites wasn't really forced as labor. The best labor is the, the, the labor that you can, that, that volunteers itself. You get somebody strung out on cocaine, you get them to do what you want them to do. That's all, that's all it was, is to break your will, just as it does today. It's designed just for that. To break the human fucking will. 
There was a big trade going on a long time ago with black folks and this cocaine. South America. It was only grown in one part. It was South America. The black folks that dominated South America. The Olmecs. Okay? There was a trade back and forth between South America and Africa with this cocaine. Forced labor, as I said, and it was a drug that a lot of the pharaohs like to use. Priests, things of that nature. Cocaine is nothing new at all. But back on the subject, to get rid of the break the human willpower. A lot of you white motherfuckers that's in power ban the shit because it cuts into your cash flow. You talking about the Bill Clintons and the Bushes that got rich off of drugs, off of the drug trade. See, before there was oil, there was the drug. Both of them from down south, Clinton from Arkansas, the state above me, Bush, Texas, the state to the left of me. Big drugs, big drugs. It, you know, it, it influenced a lot of uh, corruption. A lot. I don't have to tell a lot of you black folks, you niggas should be tired of that shit. You should want to leave all fucking drugs alone, period. That's what it'll take for the black man to get his, get his mind right. To move on. Because we strung out. We got hit the hardest with this shit. Drugs need to be banned, period. If it ain't a drug that can help, to help you with some pain, I'm talking about serious pain. To keep you from going in the shop, then it, it, it's not needed. It's not needed at all. The white folks ban Immogain to line their fucking pockets. See, all these organizations with the rehab, AA, and all of that, that shit wouldn't exist. Immogain would knock all that shit out. That's why I say a lot of mother white motherfuckers are wasteful. Wasteful. Because a lot of people will be helped with this substance, natural substance from a plant. Okay, we're gonna ban it. It's gonna cut into our, our, our uh, cash flow with the drug. That's all the fuck that is. They'd rather for you to be strung out on the drug. They line their pockets, even through the system, through the, 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 the court system. And when your ass get off drugs and out of, out of, out of the uh, system, you go to AA. Well, they still make money out of you. So I say, this whole fucking system needs to be gone, along with a lot of you white folks. Because with you motherfuckers out of the way, the rest of the world would be able to progress. We'd be able to establish relations with extraterrestrials that we once had before. We'd be able to move on to that next level. But with you motherfuckers in the way, we ain't moving to shit. We moving to extinction. And you motherfuckers right along with us. We breathing radiation right now. Particles. Why? Because of you white motherfuckers. That's why. You the blame for that. It ain't the Japanese. You sold the motherfucking material to them. They would not be able to allow it. Without your permission, they wouldn't be able to have no fucking nuclear material. It was you white motherfuckers that bombed uh, Hiroshima and, and Nagasaki or whatever. 
for sure. And after that, under no conditions, the Japan, Japanese had a no say so whatever. They did what the West say do. That's on you, white folks. That's on you. That's why you need to go. A new world order will consist of order. Real fucking order. Not that buddy buddy shit. That buddy buddy system. Let me give you another example of the buddy buddy system. Piston engines. That shit would need to go. Rotary engines that operate off of hydrogen. At once I was for nukes. I'm against that shit now. Nukes belong in outer space. I'm dying because of a fucking nuke right now. You too. Like I said, we breathe in the particle. Whether you know it or not, hydrogen will be the way to go. But the white motherfuckers say it's too expensive. Well, you put a price on human life? What about life and all? Hydrogen may be expensive, but it's the fucking way to go. But now, rotary engines that operate off of hydrogen, no fucking pistons, far outdated. Use less metal. There's no fucking head, no valves, nothing but a damn housing. Uses less fucking metal. Cut resources. As I said, you white motherfuckers are wasteful. And you're wasteful on purpose to help your counterparts, your, your others. Throw me some business over here. Yeah, let's be wasteful. It makes, more, it makes us more money. But it fucks up the rest of the ecosystem, life in general, even our life. Piston engine will be banned. Needs to be banned. Rotary engine, more efficient in the long run, more efficient than a goddamn piston engine. It uses less parts, less maintenance, or electric. Generates more torque than a piston engine or a hydrogen rotary. But we need a better cell, a better battery, something much better, less heavy than lithium batteries. That would be a better solution than a piston engine. All ties, all agreements will have to be separate among all the nations. We'll go into a reset mode. You white motherfuckers don't want to go into a reset mode because it put everybody else on the same level playing field. And a lot of people knowing you, y'all asses right now, wouldn't want to fuck with you. Not even on an economic level. They'll deal with trusted people. People that say one thing and, and say, say something and actually go through with it. Not saying one thing and doing something else. None of that bullshit. You can't get nothing done doing shit like that. No. That's the reptilian way. Through trickery. Through backstabbing. A reset mode. Breaking agreements with China. North Korea, South Korea, Russia, Africa will have to be included in, in those party talks. And Africa will be reestablished the way it should be. UN, every member that sits on the UN panel will have to come off. The only one that will stay on there is Kofi Annie. 
or whatever his name is. That's the only one that should be on there. And the UN wouldn't stand for United Nations no more. It stands for United Negroes. United Negroes. All Negroes would sit on that panel. Each and every Negro would have to, would represent that other country, would have to represent China, Russia, and the rest of the other nations to those party talks. United States would not be lo no longer known as the United States. The United States should be known as Ultra Star. Ultra Star. Saves a lot of paperwork. No longer united, because the states wouldn't be united. They would. It would be broken up. Broken up in three goddamn regions. Louisiana, Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, Alabama, Florida. Ran by one Negro. Another Negro. California, Nevada, Iowa, Wyoming, Washington State, Colorado, and a few others on that West Coast. Another Negro. The third Negro, Georgia, New York, North Carolina, South Carolina, Wisconsin, New Hampshire, Vermont, Michigan, Chicago, Illinois. Three Negroes. Three. North Dakota, South Dakota, remain sovereign to the Lakota people, to the certain Indians. They have those states. The white folks will have to be under the rule of a black man. What the fuck he say goes. You'll have to live by his. What he say. He makes the rules. That would be the reset mode. The reset. It per makes perfectly sense to me. Why? Because by the states being united again, there would be conflict. Let's not forget the uh, Civil War between you white folks, the South did not want to unite with the North. Too much power in one hand corrupts. When there's a power overload on your house, your circuit breaker trips in. Too much power for one human being. It's a bad thing. And of course the Anunnaki knew that. Inky knew that. Inky chose knowledge over rulership. And a lot of you white folks don't understand that concept. Because some of the most smartest people are really the most powerful people. And those people are the ones that put other people in power. Even when they don't deserve it. Right, like right now. Oh, Donald Sterling. Does he deserve to be where he is right now? No. He has that attitude because it wasn't hard for him to get there. When you work for something, when you work hard for it, you appreciate it. You take pride in it. Of course, if it's just handed to you easily, you're not going to really think much of it. It's going to become expendable to you. Because if you feel if it came that easy, you can get it easy again. And that's why a lot of you white folks look down on a lot of us black folks like we not shit here in the United States. Because your forefathers set the ground, uh, set, set everything up for you. 
And you really, you don't have to kill and steal like your forefathers did. They laid the groundwork for you motherfuckers. That's why a lot of y'all spoil. That's why you fuck up stuff. You steal stops in elections. You're a big fuck up. And you know you're a big fuck up. But you still gang. That's why you look at black folks like, oh, I'm fucked up. And you a fuck up. And you still down here. I'm up here. That makes me superior. That makes me better than you. When you already had a head start. Because of your forefathers. They passed their own wealth to your pink ass. To where you don't have to work as hard. As black folks. That came from nothing. That's what that reset mode would be. Your pink ass go to work. And you gonna work hard. You gonna work for what, what, what you earn. Just like the rest of the nations. China failed. Nanking. The Japanese set them back. You bombed Japan. They came back. They know what a loss is like. To come back from a loss. I ain't talking about no goddamn 9-11. That ain't no fucking real loss. That's not. That's one fucking city. Not a whole goddamn nation. You'll know what pain is. You'll know what a loss is. A real fucking loss. That's how you humble yourself. I'll give you a quick example. You think I'm just bullshitting. You read the story about Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh thought he was a badass. Which he was. But a new told Inky to send in Enkidu, the humble Gilgamesh. Because Anu already, he had that same mentality when he was younger. It's, it's about learning lessons. And you white folks hasn't, haven't learned a real fucking lesson. You still babies. When Anu battled it out with Alalu, Alalu for this whole fucking planet, which is, should be a story that every fucking white person should know. You should know where we came from. We, black folks, not where your ass came from. By looking at us, where we come from, you know where the fuck you came from. Genetically, anyway. When a new battle went out with Alalu, a new learned from that shit, okay? Because they were close. A new was Alalu's cup bearer. On Nibiru before he became King Anu or Anu. He served Alalu. Cup bearer means that you taste the drink to make sure there ain't no poison in it. Okay? And that's what Anu was before Alalu was off the throne. And when they battled it out, and Alalu, Alalu, bit Anu's penis off. In that battle, in that last battle, Anu learned a lot. He was arrogant. He wouldn't have had his dick bent off if he didn't put his foot, disrespected Alalu, and put his foot on his chest and said, I'm king. He was already king. He didn't have to say that. He didn't have to put his foot on his chest. That's pure arrogance. He learned from that. So what Anu wanted to show Gilgamesh, you're not such a badass and you need to cool your high head off. He had his son Enki genetically create Enkidu. Enkidu was humble by Enki or E. Okay? But strong. Stronger than Gilgamesh. Then Gilgamesh will run for his money. Enkidu went and wrestled Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh being a badass he was, okay? Feared by everybody within that region. 
measures match on that day. When Enkidu challenged not his authority, but challenged him. And Gilgamesh humbled himself. And they became best friends. Gilgamesh loved Enkidu. Enkidu loved Gilgamesh. They became best friends after that. They didn't become enemies. And that's what Anu wanted to teach Gilgamesh. He didn't want him to make the same fucking mistakes that he did by turn making enemies. But of course, if you read the story, you know it was a goddamn serpent that came and got the uh, the element that was going to save him, to make him live a long fucking time. Now in the story, it say the snake slithered away with it. That snake was watching them. As I said, you are a fucking dead weight to this planet. Okay? You have no regards for no life on this planet. None. With the New World Order, a black man's New World Order, there will need to be some kind of control. Or either elimination. Okay? Those party talks that I talked about with each nation, it will have to happen. It will take, it will more so take, would take black people here to unite, which has been something that's been, that's, has been suppressed for so many years. We're the most ununited people on the planet. We don't even have our own country, the blacks here, okay? We done lost that. We done lost it to you white folks. Whether well, it's the ones that's in Israel right now, or you Europeans right here, because this was our home also. Absolutely. As I said, Indians come from India, all right? And we know what people in India look like. Okay? That's something for you to think about. New World Order will consist of righteousness. The basic principles of righteousness. And a basic constitution. For all. For all on the planet. Human rights in North Korea, expansion of real human rights, human rights in China, a real constitution that will have to be followed by each and every nation. Now, getting each and every nation to agree on it, that's something different. But as I said, all ties will have to be broken, and we have to go into a reset mode. And that means debt forgiveness also. Debt forgiveness with China. Because the black folks up here, we carry that debt also. We didn't fucking sign up for it, but we carry the debt. The black man come to power, China forgives the debt or accept a payment, one payment, a settlement of that debt. And within that debt, that debt payment, the white folks have to give up. Bridges, companies, uh, ports, everything and be in debt to the black man, or either be as payment, them be payment themselves to the Chinese. Yes, be payment themselves to the Chinese.
just as we were paying for fucking wrong. Black folks were sold for wrong. Yeah. S some of us. The bottom line is, there will have to be some kind of debt forgiveness with China. And we would have to make a payment to China. Not for China to own anything here in the U.S. Because that's what it, it has become. Nobody owns nothing in the U.S. Payments will be, be arranged to pay off debt to whoever or to be bought out. Whether if it means going to the moon and getting some HE3 helium to pay off that debt or going to another planet and getting some resources to pay off that fucking debt. But the power will have to be in the hands of the black man. Solely. And all the nations will have to follow. How would they follow? What power does the black man have? He has no nukes, he has nothing. That's true. In order to carry out certain acts, the black man will have to have some kind of power to put fear into those who don't comply. But that will have to be the last resort. First resort is to talking. Sit down and have talks. But first we have to be united. If we can't unite within our own communities, we won't be able to unite nowhere else. We should want to unite because we're the worst ones out. We don't own a damn thing. Just because there's a piece of paper, a certificate that says you own something, you own your house, you own your car, etc., etc., you don't. Let me tell you when you know you own something. You own something when nobody can take it away. And if somebody just does try to take it away, you, has, you have the means to defend it with no problem. That's the way the world works. Let me explain something to you. Those party talks that, that go on between Russia, United States, and North, uh, uh, South Korea, and Russia, uh, uh, China, it's because they have nukes. But nukes are no good unless you plan to destroy yourself as well. It's more like having a bomb strapped to your chest and saying we're going to all die if you don't let me be soft. Well, that's something you have to negotiate with if somebody has nuclear weapons. Okay? That's, that's true policy. Everything follows after that. The nukes first, then everything follows behind that. Then you have some say-so. Now, that's the way it is. A new world order under the black man would be a little something different. That order will consist of sound. A weapon of sound. A lot of you Negroes don't understand the importance of sound. Some of, the, some of the white folks, they understand it, but they don't really know um, how powerful it can be, the potentials of it. The reason why you see me right now is because of sound. I'm vibrating. No, you just, you think that you just hear me. No, you see me because I'm vibrating at a low rate. Physical.
physical, physical. Strings of sound composed of everything. Everything you see, feel, touch, even yourself consists of sound. Strings of sound that play in the rhythm. Okay? Now, I've been wanting to talk about this shit years ago. But right now, it seems relevant to talk about it. Your body has a special resonance, your own signature of sound, okay? That you emit what makes you, your personality, every day. Your whole DNA revolves around sound, or, or algorithm. Algorithm. It's just spelled different. The rhythm, R, 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 R H, Y, uh, uh, T, H, E, M, or whatever. A, L, G, O, R, I, T, H, M. It's basically the fucking same. Algorithm is usually just another... It's just uh, used in encryption. It's just a different spelling or synonym or whatever when you're dealing with encryption. DNA is encryption, a type of encryption. Now, talk about your chromosomes. Sound. When we talk about sound, we talk about rhythm and music. When you talk about algorithm, you talk about rhythm and encryption and genetics. But the both are similar. Okay? Because you are just one big fucking encryption with a little bit of rhythm. That's what it is. That junk DNA that I talk about, that the fucking white mainstream scientists talk about, oh, it's junk DNA. That no fucking junk DNA. It's because they call it junk because they can't decrypt, decipher it. Because it was done that way by the Anunnaki. That junk DNA consists of that suppression of your vitamin C. Why you can't generate when you when your teeth fall out, they don't go back no more. If you lose a finger, it doesn't grow back. When you age, you age. You don't regenerate. The Anunnaki is not different than us. Except for they live longer lives. They regenerate. They have more chromosomes. More chromosomes, more things get fixed. There's a little added extra. An extra finger. Extra royal teeth. A little bit of more height. In elementary school, I remember a janitor that had six fingers on each hand. He was black. He walked around with a fucking cigar in his mouth. It wasn't lit. Couldn't smoke in school. He kept it in his mouth though. He smoked it outside. He smelled just like cigar. He'd come in the bathroom and whoop our asses because we piss all over the damn commode. He had to clean it up. We shoot spitballs on, on the ceiling and shit. But we just thought he was some old nigga or whatever. But now, knowing what I know now, he was descendant of the Anunnaki. Because when you have six fucking fingers, th that's very close. You closer, you had more Anunnaki blood running through him than I got than running through me. I only have five fucking fingers. He had six. And he was a goddamn janitor. 
Nobody really respected him in the school. The white women ain't respected his ass in school. Of course, the black folks, we knew we were black. But when, when they wanted to piss him off, they'd tell him to come clean some shit up that they didn't steal. Some coffee or some shit they didn't steal behind their desk or from, from not paying attention. They didn't try to clean the shit up. They asked him to come clean it up. Back to what I was saying. With the whole um, sound. Sound is very important. Sound is what makes up the reality that we are in, okay? This whole earth resonates on one sound. Everything is about sound. Everything you see, you hear, it plays a big important role, even more so than nuclear material. And I'm going to get to that in a little bit. I got some toothpaste in my pocket. I'm out back pocket. There's toothpaste that you look at every day. For those of you who brush your teeth with toothpaste, this sack of poison right here that you look at, this tip, okay, the, uh, the, uh, on the other side of the, the, the opening of this nozzle, this was used. This, it took sound to generate this, okay? which is known as ultrasonic welding, okay? They use sound to weld this together, not heat, sound. It only takes a second to do it. Those rivets that you see, that you feel, are all composed of sound, okay? Like I said, ultrasonic welding. So if sound does that to some plastic, what would it do to flesh? What would it do to rock? What would it do to the ground? Those holes that you see around the world, those sinkholes, may be because of the ultrasonic weapon. You notice how perfectly round they are? Each and every one of them? Where does a rock go when it falls? Where does the mud go? Ankle body. Why are those holes so perfectly round? Let me explain something to you Negroes. We once had technology before to defend ourselves. But we fucked it up. Just like white folks fucking it up right now for themselves. We fucked it up for ourselves a long time ago because we became too arrogant. Too ambitious. We lost our own ways and therefore we, we, we paid for it. We didn't serve it out. We didn't pay for our fucking mistakes and everybody else's. For the black man to get himself out of this fucking hole that he's gotten himself into, he will have to have a means of weapon. A weapon to defend himself and say, look, motherfucker, you going to recognize me as a nation? Or either we go to war. As I said before, sound plays a very big, important role. More than you will ever know. If it's flesh, it can be destroyed by sound. by an ultrasonic weapon, okay? An ultrasonic weapon that would be able to 
break anything that's physical and maybe even rip a hole in space or one right here on earth a portal this is my theory because you know white folks think we all fucking dumb nigga I mean really a lot of white folks think that most Negroes are dumb and shit like that, but don't know the true history of Negroes. See, you gotta understand. White men didn't uh, separate the fucking scientists and the smartest Negroes. He just looked at all Negroes the same when he's taking slaves. And a lot of us Negroes, we had to play dumb just to get along. Get along with our own kind, and to get along with that white bastard. Because if you knew you had some goddamn intelligence, you was a threat to him. So he said, okay, master, I'm going to be a good nigga. I'll do what you say. In the meantime, that nigga was reading and writing and doing things, and learning things. But he kept it hidden. He kept that intelligence hidden. These days, niggas don't like to read. You want somebody to read it for you? Or do you want to watch it on the screen? Okay? And that's a bad thing. Because with the information and the technology today, you should be trying to soak up as much as you can. And read as much as you can. Because it's available for everybody. Niggas like making music. You making music, Negro, you should know the science behind the music. As your forefathers did long ago. Now I've talked about the 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 uh, synthesizers and things of that nature, and our music. How we the best motherfucking people on the planet that makes music. We are masters at that shit. That's what the world the, the world recognizes as being anyway. We do much. Love. A lot of other things. But of course, the music, we could be ourselves. We could be free. Nobody tells you how to make music or what it should be. It comes from within your soul. How you feel. What you feel. It's emotion. Okay? You make the best fucking music. Negroes make the best music. But do Negroes know the science behind music? Not a lot of them. But I'm going to tell you a little bit of science behind music and these instruments. The language of the Anunnaki did not consist of the alphabet system. Alpha! What the fuck do alpha mean? Alpha means first. Where's the omega alphabet system? That white bastard took a bite. He said, fuck it, I'm going to use the alphabet system. The rest of it I don't understand. The rest of it I don't need. That white bitch put everything, uh, lined up everything, mapped out everything to the alphabets that he chose to use. Alphabet. We can start with the periodic tables of elements. Incorrect. He just mapped the shit around an alphabet system. Let me point this out to you. Keys. Music notes. Around the alphabet system. That doesn't mean that's what it really is. Okay? 
Think out the box, Negro. That's not what it means. The G key, the A key, all of that. Well, a lot of us don't even use that shit anyway. We use this to determine what sound we desire. A lot of Negroes don't know how to read no fucking music. Don't need to know how to read no fucking music. That consists of the alphabet system. Music consists of notes that are mapped out on keys. Keys, keys go to what? A fucking lock. Something that's locked needs a key. Encryption needs a fucking key to be unlocked. So, a note corresponds with a key that's mapped out on the alphabet. Negro, let me show you. Something that you may recognize that we all may have seen. I'm talking about the TR-808 and et cetera, et cetera. But this is one of a box that you might be familiar with. It looks like the 808 has keys on it, okay? Most Negroes, we use this kind of shit, okay? We don't have time to be bothered with no fucking keyboard that's 61 keys long, et cetera, et cetera. We can get the same shit right here. You just trans, uh, transpose the fucking keys and there you have it, all 61 and much more, okay? This was designed for niggas that didn't know how to read no goddamn music, all right? First of all, keys on a keyboard. These are keys right here, all right? You might as well say this is a keyboard. What I'm pressing right here, these are keys. And I said keys that go to a fucking lock. With the right notes that's played, you can unlock some things. Okay? One of the white scholars, the white boys, always wonder how in the fuck did the Egyptians move those heavy ass boulders? How did they do it? How did they do it? So they try to come up with some cockamania ass bullshit. Oh, they, they slid them, they did this, they did that. Fuck no. That white bitch is alive again. Music. With a certain or right amount of fucking pitch, Certain things can levitate. Certain things can break. You seen a glass break from keys from, from a certain pitch? From a high pitch, the glass will fucking break. So if something can break, something can levitate with the right, right amount of pitch. Now this shit here is, is uh, watered down a whole lot. This is consumer-grade uh, material, okay? This kind of, this have to go through the FCC and go through all kinds of scrutiny and all of that shit. And it's, it's old technology. And what I mean by old technology, this shit has been around. I told you a lot of technology come from reverse technology, alien technology. These motherfuckers go in and be it, uh, take it to the lab, figure it out, reverse engineer it, put a patent on it, bam, it's on the market, okay? And this uses a quartz crystal with the, to, 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 uh, to help with the timing. This is not analog, this is all digital, okay? Digital and analog, I don't really want to get off into it, but just to make things short. Digital instruments bounce off of a, off of a quartz crystal, okay, like a watch, to keep the time. That's why certain things, 
uh, the uh, perfect timing with these machines. Uh, even through uh, media, music, instrumental, digital interface, they connect to one another. The timing is always the same. It's on beat. Okay? Analog, it's a different story. Analog drifts. All right? And you have to tune it. Analog drifts along, it, it corresponds. It's, this is a self-contained unit. The crystal is what controls this thing, the time. With analog, the timing is controlled around the planet, the, 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 the ethereum. Okay, that's why it drifts like clouds, okay? The clouds are affected by what? The weather, the wind. It's like with analog instruments also. They never stay the same. They will fall out of tune, okay? But anyway, with these keys, they correspond to certain things. With the right note, the right pitch, you can trigger certain things. Even a cavitation, meaning that a hole. You can put a hole in the goddamn ground with the right pitch and with the right amplification, meaning they could be used as a weapon. The right instrument, okay? Something of that nature. Just throwing it up. With the right instrument, the right pitch will make heart look like fucking child's play. Okay? I'm talking about real fucking synthesis. And real tuning. Something beyond, something off the scales. See, that shit is mapped out on a scale of keys, alphabets. I told you, alpha. What about the omega? Again, the right trigger of keys, trigger certain notes, could trigger a hole in the ground, or multiple, big holes, bunkers collapse, jet fighters collapse, everything. That's part of that reset mode. As I said, One who possesses such an instrument will be one that will have some say-so. The Negro that will have some say-so. Okay? Nobody likes war. There's going to always be hard-headed motherfuckers on the planet that need to get it that need to be served up. Even if you don't like war, you have to go to war to get some motherfucking peace. Peace costs. And as I said, with that cavitation, that hole could render an opponent useless. Like I said, no planes will be able to get up in the air, because all planes have to be grounded. That's some, to be, to, at least to be refueled or some service and that, that, that kind of thing. So with the right cavitation to trigger an earthquake, ground, ground breaking, that can be controlled at a certain magnitude, meaning that if you, the operator wants to vibrate the ground it can and adjust the the the, uh, the vibration of that ground how much it vibrates how high it vibrates pretty much like I said like an earthquake 
but it won't be tectonic plates shifting. No, this will be an up and down thing, like a piston. But, as I said, he who possess such a, 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 a device will have some say so. That can drop, that can knock a whole city or country back years. Tanks are no longer in operation. Jet fighters, no longer operation. The ones that's in the air won't be able to receive no fucking support. And let alone if the ground is, the terrain is too fucked up for the plane to land. Unless it's a vertical takeoff type jet fighter. That means satellites, communication, all off. Line. That means nuclear sites destroyed. Backup generators all destroyed. Without the nasty effects of a mushroom cloud, such a device would be able to accomplish just that within minutes to knock a civilization on its ass within, just within several minutes. From any place, from anywhere around the world. Even through water. Water, the sound travels better through water than through airspace like this. Submarines that's in the water would be affected also by such a device. To rip through that titanium hole. But of course, the ill effects of animals would take a toll also. I'm not going to get off into it, but to have such a device and to create an apparatus for it, a suit. But a Negro can a, a Negro can control a device, small device, through glasses like those fucking Google glasses, and trigger sound out of his fucking brain like uh, Stephen Hawking type on a fucking keyboard. No, no, it's it's the words to, to text or whatever. He think it and it show up on the goddamn screen. There would be such a device that would be able to trigger those same notes. Four Negroes could take over the whole fucking world with just that. Just that. Four Negroes, the four fucking horsemen that that Bible talks about. Just four Negroes. Sound can be a destroyer, sound can levitate. And with those suits, the Negro can levitate. You will have to learn how to levitate. Because if the ground on the bottom of his feet, the ground on the bottom of his feet bottoms out, that means he will be in danger also. So I say a suit could be designed just for that. As I said, think out the fucking box. A lot of this shit is in your DNA and you don't understand it. That same fucking junk DNA that them white boys say, it ain't nothing. You let it come back alive. You'll remember a lot of shit that you thought wasn't in you now. The Bible talks about the dead in Christ will come back. Nigga, the, the dead is your ass. The Christ is your ass, your black ass. You done risen, you done fallen, you done died, you done suffered the worst fucking torture 
that any human being can go through. And your black ass still here. That's why I say praise the Negro. Praise his black ass. You white motherfuckers need to praise him. Praise his crusty black ass feet. His crusty lips, everything about the Negro, you should be praising. Because a thousand years from now, you still may not be half of what a Negro is. The Anunnaki were some outstanding Negroes. Let me explain to you white folks about endurance. The Anunnaki were a, a, a elite. Of course they were, but they had their fucking losses. They suffered also. They brought pain to the table, but they took pain also. Wasn't it in Leo? If you read the goddamn text, was dragged out of his damn bed in the middle of the night and locked up on uh, crimes against humanity? Wasn't it Inky that lost a son? The Muzi. There ain't no fucking white names. The Muzi! The Muzi is a white fucking name? No, that's a black goddamn name. Just like Chime and Hansu, bitch. You white folks need to stop that shit. Now I don't know know what pain in this life, know what losses are like. Endurance. Endure things. Learn life lessons. And stay here and endure a lot of pain, war, and famine during the flood. You white folks, the, the, the white nationality has not been challenged like that on that level. Never. Even Zedrita had help to fucking survive. If it wasn't for Inky and Gawazu, this mysterious person, you white folks would have been died out. Zeldra, blonde hair, blue eyed, pale skin, allegedly the son of Inky. Allegedly. But even though he, Inky being a humanitarian and he is pro life, he never denied any life. Even when that life suffered. The battle between Cain and Abel in the Bible, or Abel, A-B-E-L, and Cain, K-A-N-E, in the Sumerian text. So Inky still spared his life, even when the others say kill him. You all understand Black folks, you understand the Anunnaki. You look other places. You look, oh, it's this, it's that, it's that, it's You cannot overlook that. You deny the whole existence of the Anunnaki if you deny us, black people. Period. That's why you run around in fucking circles trying to figure this out, trying to figure that out. How does this nigga know this? Negroes are this, Negroes are that. On one hand, we good, we bad. On one hand, we smart, we stupid, we ignorant. We are all or nothing. But you, you living under your dysfunctional ass, we still got some kind of morality. Because morality is something that's taught. And we were taught some morality by the Anunnaki. Even though they had their flaws, but God damn it, we knew killing was bad. <laughs> we knew killing was bad, okay? Murder and 
killing is two different things. But they both is still the same in a sense. You murder somebody when you don't like them. You kill somebody when they threaten your existence, when they are a threat to you. That's the between, that's the difference between murder and killing. You motherfuckers go and kill and, and murder at the same time. You don't differentiate the, the two. You don't distinguish the two. There's more black people, brown-skinned people, as ethnicities, different ethnicities, that's been murdered by you white folks. You, you wouldn't be where you are without killing and murdering and stealing. That's why you need to go. You need to go. The black man needs something to bring him up out of this hole. To raise him out of this hole. He deserves it. He is the last on this planet. Everybody else has a country. Everybody else has some kind of sovereignty. We've been laid up under you motherfuckers for a long time. For a long time. Our forefathers and, and, and foremothers and white child vet kids asked to care of them like they were their own and still ended up as a fucking slave. Thomas Jefferson, hmm? Still slaves. He slept with black women, had kids around, they were still slaves. You don't know right from wrong. You don't, and you're slowly being taught it, but it's being taught the hard way. This fucking radiation that we breathe in every day, that's being taught, oh, we suffer because of you motherfuckers, okay? You go out and do shit and run things and fuck up stuff, and then want to send black men to fight your goddamn wars. If it's going to be something like that, shit, let them have a say so in it. Let them have a say so in it. Let them benefit from the oil. Something, if he gets nothing. Maybe a fucking pat on the back, a medallion, or some shit like that. But you're out of control. You're out of control, and it's going to take something for you motherfuckers to, to, to recognize that black folks are tired. We're tired. It's injustice, this fucking justice system that's supposed to work for everybody, it doesn't. It does not. White people on all levels, from top to bottom, despise Negroes. Racism ain't just for rich, elite, white people. Some of the most trailer trash is the racist. Even with black folks that have more than they ask, they still racist towards them. And if you're racist towards black people, you're racist towards the Anunnaki people that's far greater than your ass, you will probably never see the outside of this fucking solar system. Never. Not in person. Nobody want to see your ass coming. Because they know that trouble follows behind it. Trouble. You motherfuckers are like a storm. And when you leave, things are fucked up. If you stay, Things are still fucked up. And don't say it ain't so. Look at Iraq right now. Look at it. Look at Afghanistan. You started this shit. Don't say, oh, it's the politicians. 
You put them motherfuckers in power. Don't say it's Obama. This shit was fucked up long before Obama got in office. Long before that. How many white presidents were there were before him? This ain't something that just happened on this fucking watch. Hell nah. Two white folks. It's y'all. You know, everybody not going to speak the way I speak. But you looking at a nigga that has the RH negative blood, I'm going to say what the fuck I'm going to say. Because I'm not scared of you white folks. I'm not. I'm not. I, my ancestors have been here on this goddamn planet ruling shit for the longest. Ruling shit. And we were happy. There was a, a little bit of war, a little bit of famine, but goddamn, you white folks, you done fucked up the whole world. You poisoned the goddamn water. You genetically modifying animals and shit. At least we were getting some whole grain food and shit. Nothing all fucked up. No acid right. I mean, it is what it is. You need to fucking go. You need to fucking go. That's it. That's the only way. I mean, to the world band together and get you motherfuckers out. Or get you motherfuckers in a corner of the planet and keep you isolated. Quarantine. You need to go. You are a threat to everybody else and out of space. Because if you gain a, a, a real stronghold on this fucking planet, China lose a war to you. Russia lose a war to you. You gonna bring that shit in outer space. And your ass gonna get dealt with. And uh, hopefully the, the, the extraterrestrials that put it on your ass in space don't bring it here to us. When you told what I wonder what you motherfuckers in the Pentagon said to the extraterrestrials. Oh. This is our word. You speak for me? Bitch, you don't rec re uh, represent me? You don't. You don't carry the same fucking bloodline as me. If anything, bitch, you should kneel before me. That's what you should do. That's what you should do. That's what your ass was doing when the Anunnaki was in power. And bitch, if I come to follow you, you you going you gonna learn. If any nigga come to power, you gonna fucking learn. If he have the same mentality as, as, that I have, you are going to fucking learn your goddamn place on this planet here. You can't even send a goddamn white man to North Korea and negotiate with him. You send a black man. They don't wanna see no fucking white man come there to their country and I don't blame them. You bitches are disease that spread. And you don't understand that. You ain't even trying to genetically modify and say, look, I want to get this out of me. I want to be like the rest of the world, have some kind of honesty, integrity, something. But you like being a dysfunctional, fucked up faggot Power-driven power motherfucker. Out in public and camera, you're a man. Behind closed doors, you spread your ass cheeks. You're a goddamn sissy. You put on a dress. Just like that faggot Alexander. Goddamn faggot. You need to get that out of you. You need to, you motherfuckers worry about cloning some animals and shit like that. You need to genetically modify yourself to where you become a better man, a better woman. And show the world 
hey, I've changed, we've changed, because you got to stain, you stain this whole motherfucking planet. You have a stigma that, that you carry. The white man is coming. You know trouble follows. The beings are not a space. There's some white, some white people coming. Trouble is going to follow. Like I said, I'm going to keep it fucking real. I'm going to fucking keep it real. It needs to be said. It needs to. I ain't, I ain't a part of no fucking organization or nothing like that. The only organization I'm related to is the Anunnaki. And that's by blood. That is just by fucking blood. I don't have to be initiated or anything. Nothing. I was fucking born like this. I don't have to kiss nobody's ass. None of that. To get along. Bitch, you like me or either you don't. That's it. Simple as that. But I'm black. And I'm proud to be black. I love being black. I'm going to tell you why I like being black. Because they're Anunnaki. That's why. It's an honor for me to be black. And I wouldn't trade it. But nothing, even if I had to go through all the racism that I've encountered all over again, tenfold, I still do it. Because it's just that much of an honor to be black and be a part of the Anunnaki. That's why. You couldn't pay me to be white. I wouldn't want to be white. I wouldn't want to be you. I would not want to. You are a fucking curse to the rest of the planet. You could change your goddamn image and start doing the right things for shit. In your mind, doing the right thing is being a humanitarian amongst animals. You treat animals then you better than you treat us, black folks. That's the craziest shit about it. Oh, I'm making it up. There's a video of a black man, a black young boy, being shot up by some cops. The dog run to run in. He he says, I have a gun, but he doesn't show a gun. Don't show the gun. He have his hand behind his back. He say, you send a dog up here, I'm gonna shoot. They send the dog up there, they open fire on both him and the dog. And you know who they came to rescue first? The goddamn dog. The fucking dog. You so fucked up in the head, and these, these police departments fucked up in the head. A goddamn dog is a police officer? You value the life of a dog more than a human being? You not human yourself? You have a pair of chromosome of 23. You're not human. But yet, the same white motherfuckers in, in a search for extraterrestrials, when they already know how you motherfuckers are, they watch you every day. But you want to make contact with them. Like you know, like you real compassion. When there's people starving around the fucking world, the black man will end hunger in one motherfucking day around the world. Within 24 hours, world hunger will no longer be known. Deserts will be transformed into fields to farm, to grow food. The fucking Sahara Desert alone would be done just for that. Just that alone. In world hunger. A lot of the reasons why we do, the reason why I got on a fucking mask right now is because of you white folks. The reason why I am the way I am, the 
The way I feel, the way I feel, is because a lot of you white folks. It's building blocks in society. The shit I had to go through, the shit that other black folks have to go through, and you want to look down upon them like they nothing. You walk through a lot of the shoes of black people, and it might make you a better person. Because you haven't had to go down that goddamn path, you have that mentality that you have. They don't talk to you fucks up in the Pentagon and the FBI and the, the marshals. You motherfuckers need to listen because you have the doubt. You know who the fuck I am. You know my bloodline. You know, bitch, you know. You know. You can go look in the fucking file. Your bosses, if you got some access, if you got security clearance, bitch, you know who I am. You know. You know who the fuck I am. And like I said, you bitches to be on your fucking knees. Repent. And I'm gonna help you out. I'm, I'm gonna fucking help you motherfuckers out. If you really, this is a text, some of you white folks, if you really wanna change. If you really wanna change, you really wanna make a fucking difference, you really wanna show the rest of the world you, yourself, you want to show the, 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 the extraterrestrials, you really want to change? I'm going to help you out right now. You bow your head in prayer right now. If you really want to fucking change, if you really know the true history of the Negro, bow your head in prayer. I'm going to help you out. Holy Negro, I'm a heathen white bastard. I fucked up the earth. I don't deserve your mercy. I beg for your forgiveness. I want to be better. I just don't know how to be better. Maybe I will find my path with the guidance of the Negro. I ask the Negroes of all nations of the earth, those and those uh, before him, for their mercy and forgiveness. I ask for forgiveness from the Anunnaki. I ask for forgiveness from Inki, Enlil, Nahurasad, because I'm a heathen white bastard. I'm a heathen white bitch. And I know I'm just that, and I can't live with myself any longer, and I want to change. And I ask the Negro for his forgiveness and for his mercy. Amen. Of all men. In devotion to Amen Ra, son of Enki. So you know. You know. And you show, should show a little bit more fucking respect. You should. What I mean by respect, goddamn, you know what I mean. Respect is by telling the truth amongst your peers. That's who. This, this ain't no fucking hustle. This is not no bullshit. This is not. It's real. It is fucking real. For you to spread propaganda, say black folks. Or savages. Before we got here, or the ones that were here, that's shame. That's shame on you. That says a lot about you when you have to put down on another people that's already down, just to keep yourself looking good. You tell the truth. Tell the truth amongst your peers about the black folks that's here already, who the fuck they really are, who their ancestors are, where they came from. You white folks would never find out where the fuck you came from until you look at us, black folks. There's no way around it. It's mathematically impossible for you to even come up with such some bullshit, say, 
Okay. We were here before the Negroes. Tell the goddamn truth. Tell the truth if you really want to change. Tell the truth. Because let's just keep it real. Who's the bad man? Who? Any Negro with some sense. Any Negro that's in his pride. If he went up against your white ass on the level playing field, who would dominate? On a level playing field, let's say in outer space, you have no connections to nobody. None of your white friends, none of your white family. It's just you and that nigger on space. Mashed up. You and your prime, he's in his prime. Who the fuck you think going to dominate? It's that Negro that's going to dominate your white ass. Because you know you're weak. You know you are weak and you use white power and white authority to carry out your agenda. That's what you do. And you look at it as a victory. When this is a victory, it's a small victory. Pretty much like that prison mentality. I haven't seen the prison mentality before. But when the nigga leave the jail, he's scared because he don't know how to make it outside the jail. And a lot of you white folks have that. Can you make it in outer space without your family? If you used to go to the planet Negro, a planet with them but motherfucking black folks. How would you feel? Would you fit in? Would you be able to remain strong in a society that's dominated by black people? The toilet paper you wipe your ass with, made by black people. The soap you wash your ass with, made by black people. The towel you wash your ass with, is made by black people. Black owned by black folks every day. Would your mind be able to handle that? Don't say shit about the black man. He's a fucking survivor. Because that's what he's going through right now. This fucking shirt I'm wearing, these pants I'm wearing, everything. It has to, it, it, it lines your fucking pocket. I had to go through some white retailer or whatever to get it. That's why I say praise the Negro. Because the Negro then made you motherfuckers rich. Whether if it's through the prison system or whatever. When you make an arrest, that's money. If it wasn't for criminals, your ass would be out of a job. Would you? Oh yeah. Definitely. So you know what? You might want to think about certain things. Because your future is not looking too well at all. Because the white motherfucking elites, they're lining themselves, themselves up with the reptilians, and they are in bed. They will throw your ass. Well, they're actually throwing your asses under the bus. Right now, by trying to get rid, put legislation in place to ban guns. When they know the fuck you conquer. Your main stronghold was ha to have guns to come here and shoot us up and kill us. They take away your motherfucking power when they take away your guns. So the, his new world order is not in your favor. You have a chance under the under a black new world order to survive. As I said, like as I said. You have more black people that's brainwashed that love your white ass than a motherfucking elite that's putting, uh, making plans for your ass to go to those female camps, as I said. That's why I say you better praise the Negro and put his ass on the damn pedestal because you don't, you don't really stand a chance. This is as crazy as it may seem. The Negro is your big brother, okay, genetically. If 
any every major thing that happened on this planet was because of the Negro, either directly or indirect. He participated in it in some kind of way, even being a fucking slave here in the United States. Bitch, the United States would not be what it is if it wasn't from the, for the Negro, the free goddamn labor. That's what makes this country the way it is. Even with the prison system, even with the drugs out on the streets, the white pockets have already been lined and been paid by the time the drugs hit the street. It's just a Negro trying to make his goddamn money back. Don't give me that bullshit. And when you get arrested, that same fucking drug money go where? Where does it go? It goes to the goddamn bail bondsman or the court system or whatever. So you can get out of trouble. When he's in jail, he what? He got what? Uh, he get ten ten dollars on his head. The state get paid because he's sitting up in that motherfucker. That's why the, the, the system. You don't pay, you go to jail. You serve that time. The state get paid for niggas that's sitting up in jail. So that's why I said, be thankful, be fucking grateful. Because if your ass was separated from the Negro, you wouldn't survive. You would not fucking survive. A planet of all white folks? There wouldn't be none that, that, that could be taken as slaves because you're too fucking weak. You can't stand a goddamn sun to, to, to plant some fucking cop to work the fields. And there's going to always be somebody that needs to work the fields. Am I telling the truth or am I not telling the goddamn truth? Oh, of course I'm telling the truth. And you don't like it. You don't like it when a nigga talk to you like this. You need to hear it though. Let it be sober. Because I'm not some white person that's gonna kiss your motherfucking ass. No, I'm not. I'm gonna give it to you, I'm gonna give it to you raw. Because that's the nigga in me. That's, that's, what, that's what's in me. Okay? That's what makes me great. I'm not going to bullshit you, even when I don't like you. If I tell you something, it's going to be the truth. If I tell you I'm going to kill your ass, it's going to be the fucking truth. You might not like it, but it's going to be the truth. If I tell you I'm going to help your ass, it's going to be the truth. You may not like it, but it's going to be the truth. If I tell you I'm going to save your ass, it's going to be the truth. You may not like it, but it's going to be the truth. And the nigger, the nigger right now is your savior. It's your savior. Because all you have to do is look at the fake ass Jews that Hitler tried to exterminate. Them were none of the white folks. That's your white counterpart, okay? And all you have to do is look at them and see where you're going in the United States. That new world order under the new, the new reptilian agenda carried out by your white counterparts. There were Jews that tried to, that went and told Hitler that other uh, soldiers, German soldiers, tried to help them escape. Not only did Hitler kill those who betrayed him, his soldiers, to kill those Jews as well, even though they went back and told his motherfucking ass the truth that, hey, these soldiers tried to help us escape. You got white people that's under your asses like that right now. That you can't get away from. That you can't. So I say the Negro is your goddamn savior, and you don't even know it. It's time for you to show a little bit more fucking respect. Because if it's true about the Anunnaki coming back, you might as well, like I said, it's, it's, it's all over with. If it's fucking true about the Anunnaki coming back here to rule, 
lot of you motherfuckers, you going to be in bad shape. Because I don't see the Anunnaki coming back here. Some of them are here already, but I'm talking about the reinforcements. The fucking regulators. Not the ones that's not so nice. They don't feel comfortable living under this white society. No. You motherfuckers are going to be exterminated or moved back to the Caucasus Mountains or some place like that, some place isolated, just the way a new deer or Alalu or Alalu. He didn't want them on the fucking planet. He sent them to Mars. You motherfuckers might be rounded up and sent elsewhere. And no black person will be able to help you. Even the ones that do want to help you. Because as this always has been, up until about several thousand years ago, the Anunnaki was the ones that had the last fucking word. When, and the word wasn't really given on the planet. It was given on Nibiru. Whoever's on the motherfucking throne on Nibiru has the goddamn say-so to carry out what's what goes on this planet, what doesn't, and have the means to really back it up. That's why I say you should be nice to Negroes. Just the way the Negroes, slaves was nice to y'all asses. Kissing y'all asses. Dying for y'all asses. The Negro is more merciful than white folks. You say nigga have mercy on me and something might happen. Some good might happen. Not Lord have mercy on me. Nigga have mercy on me. That's all I'm going to talk about right now. Right now. Because there's a lot of the shit I'm going to talk about in this video. But I have said enough already. Not because you say so, because I say so. Fuck that. You white folks didn't say it enough already and it fucked up enough. Fucked up a whole lot. And don't want nobody else to come in and fix shit. The way it should be fixed. Not under your motherfucking guidance or under your leadership or nothing like that. You had People know you motherfuckers right now. They know you. You can't fool people no more. You might be able to fool some of the white folks that's loyal to you. Negroes, we already know. Oh, Saddam has weapons of mass destruction. Really? Where they at? Even in 2014, where the fuck they at? Oh, he's better off, the world's better off with him anyway. No, the world's better off with some of you motherfuckers. Some of you white motherfuckers. That's what. And that's all I have to say. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to end the video. You brothers out there, take fucking care of each other. I mean, really. And love each other. That's hard to do. But it was once done. I mean, God damn, I mean, take care of each other, love each other, respect each other. Because nobody right now, no nigga is better than the other nigga. None. We are on the same level right now. This shit about debating. Who's the best debater? That don't mean shit. That don't help nothing. True power ain't established by debate. It's by innovation. And it's by cooperation. And participation. The conscious community needs to unite. Not do no fucking debate. I'm talking about going through text finding out what is actual and factual and leave that shit, the rest of that shit alone. 
If you can find me some fucking text that has more text than the Lost Book of Inky, the Sumerian text, then I'm be all over it. But other than that, it don't. It, it, there's nothing that's been top that. There's nothing that topped the motherfucking testimony of Inky, okay? This shit is like Bitcoin, okay? Bitcoin is the fucking first. The first innovator. The shit that's been well established. All the other coins that follow behind. Created a lot of confusion and shit. And ripping people off. Ten percent pre-mine. A hundred percent pre-mine. The fuck out of here with that. As I said, I'm not a debater, but I'm looking for somebody to bring me some, to show me some damn text that goes through the whole genetics, how we were established, how, how the months, dates, and years were established, how they correspond with the planet Negro, Negro's timeline, names of gods and goddesses, Everything. There's no other text that laid it out like the Lost Book of Inky and the Sumerian text. The rest of that shit is just ego. That's all it is. Niggas that don't want to let go of that bullshit that they've been holding to, holding on to for a long time. And poisoning the other minds of black folks that should be accelerating in the right direction. But they can't, they can't understand or don't want to trust what this say or that say, et cetera, et cetera. Fuck, if, you, if it makes sense, and if it's got facts behind it, you roll with it. You roll with it. Show me something that's not real in the motherfucking uh, Sumerian text or the Lost Book of Inky. Inky was real. E-A was his name. E on the planet Negro. He changed his fucking name to Inky when he got here. Earth is E-A. When we go even look at fucking Pangea when the Earth, when there was one landmass, P-A-N-G-E-A. E-A. Inky. God damn it. When you niggas gonna wake up? If you know that black folks are First people on the planet, you know we had to be fucking genetically engineered. You know we had to be. I already laid the shit out in my fucking videos. 80% of the world's population has a positive blood type. Positive. Susceptible to all kinds of diseases and shit. AIDS. There's no fucking AIDS with no uh, RH negative person. Nothing documented. Hardcore. I'm telling you this, nigga. There's a fucking patent on right now for a cure for AIDS using the RH negative blood. And the RH negative blood is that fucking rare on the planet. That should tell you something right there. I bet yeah, we could just go with the with the uh, the RH uh, rhesus factor. Would a mother get pregnant and she has RH negative blood and she has to get a shot because the dad is RH positive? Her uh, her her uh, antibodies start to attack the fetus that's in her as if it's a foreign object. I don't need to go on your, that flawed bullshit, that flawed doctrine needs to go. When we deal with hardcore fucking genetics, that's why a lot of you niggas don't want to fucking debate me. That's why. You know I'm going to eat your ass alive with what I fucking know about genetics. I will eat you the fuck alive. I will break the shit down as much as I can to, to what an average person will understand it. 
the reason why you age so fast, you get old so fast, is because you don't have that motherfucking uh, vitamin C, ascorbic acid, to generate, to regenerate the cells in your body. Already broke it down. I told you why. I told you why you age fast. Faster than RH negative blood types. I don't need to go through that. You niggas need to fucking wake up. And look at shit for what it really is. You get left behind. This religion bullshit or whatever. No fucking such thing as religion. Since when you need religion to believe in the almighty creator. Even the fucking Anunnaki believed in the almighty creator. The ones that created your ass believed in their God. That must mean they had some fucking proof. You don't just believe, pull somebody your ass and believe something. When you have the means to cross into another fucking solar system. No. No, 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 no. That's not the way a, a, a very intelligent mind operates. No. There's a lot of shit going on that a lot of you niggas don't understand. And I believe some of it is hard coded into your genetics, but you better wait to fucking wake up. You understand enough that what the fuck I'm saying is true. You know you are a positive. Most of you, you know you are a positive. Okay? You know there's a fact. If you read that RH negatives don't really mix with RH positives. Not like talking about unless there's a shot. For a woman to get pregnant by a RH positive man, she has to get that shot. That's not by accident. It's not. The God always had ties to that raw pussy, okay? I'm just keeping it real, nigga. Only the God can impregnate the goddess. Bottom line. That's all I need to say. Anyway, take care. Take care of each other. I've got to go. You niggas be safe. Be smart. Love each other. Take care of each other. Ultra Star Triple Three. I'm out.